Harry was born in the late 1800s. In his early teens, he left school, but he never ever gave up on the dream of education. Adversity has made me more resilient. Um, it's got me to where I am right now. After the Second World War, he and his wife immigrated to South Africa. They lived a very, very simple, very frugal life and amassed a large amount of money. Just before he died, Harry set up his foundation, the Harry Crosley Foundation. The early education years were a little bit rough. All seven grades had to share five um, classrooms. We didn't have a library. I've just always liked books. It's, I think, a way of just creating a, a future for myself in my head. In 2013, I applied for the Green Matter slash Harry Crossley Scholarship, which allowed me to be able to pursue my PhD in 2014. So I study environmental science because of my love of people, especially the poor, who will be much more affected by the climate change currently plaguing the earth. I often wonder what Harry Crosley and Doris Crosley would say if they were here today. Um, I think they've left the most amazing legacy, changed the lives of so many students. They would be absolutely thrilled. Exactly what they wanted has been done.